Hey YouTube, um, it's been a while since I did a little progress uh, update or anything. Uh, got a lot of new things added, servers up and running, and new additions. But we have a new switch to replace. I know a lot of people have been dogging on the Dell switches, but I have received those. I've received two of them. One of them I'm selling, selling now, but. Yeah, end of the story, I'm going to be selling all the Dell switches for a pretty good price. That Power of Ethernet 6248, which is right here, so it's still going for the hefty price that it's going because of the PoE. But uh, we do have a new addition. I'm going to be getting one more Cisco, a 24 port for the house side, but this is a 2960G Catalyst. And this will be for all the servers and it's going to be more for the backbone of the network. So, we're going to get this configured nicely. It came with uh, mounting brackets, power supply, console cable, everything needed. Might use these SFP, SFP ports for some stuff. We'll figure it out. We'll see. But I got to get it configured. I'll have to refresh myself on uh, Catalyst switch, trying to configure it. Configured in my Dells before, but not this one yet. So. It'll be fun. Um, a lot of people have been asking what I'm doing with this. I will be probably selling two of them. And there is almost all around, let's see, these are all four gig sticks, I believe. Yeah. I think there's like 20 of them around here, something like that. So there's around 80 gigs of RAM. So I really wants one with fully loaded with that much RAM. I could sell it. But you guys are going to pay the hefty price for. What is going to be? I think it's like six hundred dollars with uh, like sixty-four gigs of RAM. So I'd probably say ninety, ninety-two gigs of RAM would be probably around seven hundred with drives and everything. And I could preload VMware for you guys if you guys, someone's really interested in buying one of these servers. But I'm going to keep one seven ten just for like testing and stuff because uh, I like to have one. And there's some uh, CPUs here. And these are the X series. Intel. Nope, these are the E7540s. They're from the R810s. So, yeah, just a little update. A lot of people have been wondering what's going on. Started school back up, so it keeps me busy. Uh, there's the two R810s. Uh, both have. Actually, sorry. I replaced the memory from one of them. Because I had issues with it. So both will have 128 gigs. I have another 32 gigabytes coming for this bad boy right here. So right now we have. So as you guys remember, before I had two S's, spin, uh, not spindles. Yeah, I had two of these drives. SAS drives, the 15 case. I had them in a RAID 1 for the hosts. So now I replace these with two 50 gig Intel SSDs. And I mean, it's like a flash drive, it really is. I mean, I don't have a big enough flash drive, but for the logging, I might as well just like, what the hell. It's just a solid state. And this is a big solid state. This one runs my vCenter, my VMware vRealize. It runs my orchestrator. So this is a 480 gig partition. And I'll show you guys the settings. Oh, great. It's also a little bit one hand. Really? Okay. So... So here we go. We have 131. It reads, it's just, uh, technically it's 120 
nine something, but VMware reads it and allocates it to 131. So there's the FreeNAS storage array, and there's a 50 gig. It says not an SSD because Dell Perk R710s do not have pass through, so you guys can't will not see solid state, but it is a solid state. And and this is the server I'm talking about, the memory, since I already have uh, memory in it, I just need to put more in it to make it even up to 128, will be the same as the other one. But um, here we have the free NAS, direct attached storage, 5 terabytes, and here is the 480 gig solid state Kingston. Uh, I think it's Kingston, or is it? yeah, it's a Kingston. And it has all my VMware stuff, so yeah, let's. I mean, if you guys want to see how fast it loads up, close it out, open it up, new tab. So that's how fast VMware loads up SSD. So if you guys compare this to spindle drives or office DAS unit, VMware will load much slower. Um, it's actually much quicker. It's much more snappier. Like if I go into the hosting clusters, it's nearly there. I mean, this is all a flash based uh, application, so. Yeah, there's you guys' overall specs of the two R810s 90 gigahertz, almost 256 gigs of RAM, 5 terabytes, version 6.0. And yep, I'm getting alarm, alarms, alarm uh, issues for memory for 215 host but yeah so I replaced the R610 which I don't have it anymore took it out I mean why need more servers when you have two huge powerful servers and might keep it might sell it I don't know we'll see um, it has one Xeon CPU 24 gigs of RAM so we'll see might sell it for a good price or I'll probably keep it so we'll see but yeah there's a little update so once I get the second switch, we're going to reorganize everything, keep the servers in the same place, but move the edge router up higher and uh, organize everything. So yeah, thanks for uh, staying tuned, uh, like, subscribe for the video, and uh, I'll see you later guys.